Hi, so today we're going to be editing the, uh, well, one of the images that I captured from Derwent Reservoir. Um, so, if you've not seen the vlog of me capturing those images, I'll put a link up in the top corner. I think it's this side, could be the other side, who knows. Um, but yeah, if you want to watch that first, then this video will make more sense. Um, so yeah, I'm going to load Lightroom up, load one of the images that I captured and I'll talk you through the editing process of what I did to get to the final image. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the image loaded up in Lightroom. Um, so this is one of the images I captured, uh, looking up the reservoir, sort of the damn wall was behind me. Um, as you can see, it's a little on the dark and flat side. So, we shall start editing. Um, I'll work down as I normally do. Um, first thing I'm going to adjust is whites and blacks. I don't know where the histogram's gone, but hopefully it'll turn up in a second. So, the blacks, what I ended up going for, I know the histogram's disappeared. Oh well. We'll do it without the Instagram. I've already um, done an edit so I know more or less the settings to have, but this is more just to show you from what I captured to what I ended up with. So, minus 18 on the blacks. The whites I increased all the way up to plus 73, which instantly makes the image look a lot brighter and increased the contrast quite a bit. Um, shadows, so we'll take those down. Oops, roll that to minus 17. And the highlights to plus 31. There we go, as you can see already, the image already looks far better. Um, White balance, I adjusted ever so slightly, as you can see it's quite blue at the moment, so 7, 8, 3, 9 is what I finished up with, just to take the blue tone down ever so slightly, and left the tint at minus 13. Don't mess around with exposure or contrast, um, neither did I do any sharpening on the entire image. Um, what I did do is a little bit of um, clarity to this area and this area using a mask which I will show you very soon. So next the HSL sliders, oops, hidden them. So saturation. So red I increased to plus 16. Just to fetch out this little bit uh, so slightly. Orange uh, was plus 36, again just to add a bit of contrast down this area. Yellows, 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 plus 18. And green, plus 28. Just to try fetching up a little bit of colour in this area. Um, didn't mess about with any aqua or blue because as you can see the image is quite blue still so increasing that will just make it even more bluer um, purple plus 42 again it's all this area here just to get a bit of colour in it um, and magenta plus 15 then on the luminance uh, red plus 32 and purple plus 34 and magenta plus 26 so I'll just quick show you what that's done if the image wants to load as you can see it's not very much in fact you can't even see it why is it not showing up my computer's just on go slow, but it does increase ever so slightly. I think you can see there. You can see 
image is a little bit noisy, so what we will be doing is getting rid of the noise next. So noise reduction, um, luminance, I went for 31. Bit of a tip here when you're messing about with it. Press on Alt and adjust. Your image will turn black and white, but it shows you in the box above, your detail box, uh, a bit more detailed, but for some reason my computer's running really slow. Um, so I went for luminance of 31, detail of 70, and contrast of 53. Um, and that's all. With that bit done, um, on our the next sharpening, so on the mask, again, if you press on Alt, as you adjust a mask, you can see why it's actually going to edit. Um, so the mask, I did plus 38. The amount was uh, plus 57. Radius 1.7 and detail was 35. Which, so now, as you can see, on this loads, I think it's because I'm only recording the screen, so it's a lot less noisy here than what it was before. Let's see if we can see that difference. Yep, there we go. So you can see it's quite noisy, and then the noise is reduced quite considerably. The last thing I did before I masked these areas off was the dehaze. Um, so that was just plus 10. Don't want to go too crazy. Just a bit of haziness out of this section. It adds a little bit more contrast. Right, so that's that bit done. Now, just to sharpen up this little bit and fetch out a bit more colour over here. Now I did two masks. Um, so the first one, when I can see it, was a clarity mask. If you click down here, it shows you what you're painting in. So I'll just paint over these trees. I've got it to auto mask as well, so that will attempt to use the uh, contrast in the image to just select what it thinks you're trying to select, which helps quite a lot. I think I need a new Mac. I think it struggles to record the screen and edit at the same time. But I can't really fall on at the moment, so <laughs> we shall have to do. Right, so that bit's masked now. Um, so, what did I do on this mask? Clarity plus, I don't want it that strong, plus 45. Let's get rid of that mask overlay so we can actually see what it's doing. And we shall zoom into this section, what we're playing with. So if I just reset that back down to zero just so you can see. So that's all we've done. 45. Just just been a bit more sharp, that's all. Um, and the shadows, we just increased those ever so slightly because as you can see it made it sharper and it also made it darker. So plus 14 just to brighten them back up a little bit. That's it for that mask. So we can go into a new, go back to our full view, and this one again, we can leave it as a clarity mask. Um, we shall show the overlay, and we'll just paint this bit in again. And catch us up. Okay, get that painted over. That should just about do. Want to get these bits? Just need to go that bit with a plus, and that should capture them now. There we go. That's 
better as you clarity again not as much on this one so plus four I'm going to take that off and zoom into that part of the image again just so we can see what we're doing to it so yes yeah, so I'll reset that oops this is zero so you can see plus four not do much but just ever so slightly increases the clarity um, the main one on here is the haze. we're going to go 17 you can see how it's done, it's just really increased the uh, contrast once again um, contrast I add that plus one so not really much difference there uh, and the exposure was minus 0.06 minus 0.06 there we go just to darken it down ever so slightly right so let's zoom back out and that let's turn the lights out was the final image as you can see it looks a lot more sharper in this area just to fetch detail out a bit of color in it um one thing I did notice is we added a little bit of rain and it looks like it had a few dark spots on one of my either on my lens or on my ND filter. So to fix that, all we need to do is go onto our heel brush, pass it to 100, and we shall just paint over those. And that should hopefully one here, one there. And I think oh, there's one over here. And is that one? Or is that on my screen? Yeah. That one there. Yeah. Let's click out to those. Oh, you can just see them ever so slightly there again. So let's paint over that there again. Hopefully, that should do the trick. You can see them really, really faintly, but. Ah, there we go. They're done. That's a lot better. So yeah, I'll show you the initial import for comparison. So we went from when the computer captures up that image to this image. Also, as you can see there, I did crop in ever so slightly. I went for a 4x5 crop, so yeah, there we go, quite happy with the image, let me know in the comments below what you think, I have got one more image to edit from uh, the visit to the reservoir, so that will be probably online next week at some point, so yeah, if you've liked watching me edit the, um, the image, and if it's helped in any way, for with your editing, please hit the thumbs up, give me a subscribe if you've not already subscribed, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, catch you later.